All right, howdy folks, Trapping Fool here again, out in the first shed. Figured I'd do a follow-up uh, video for, uh, showed the skinning the muskrats. I'm gonna show you how to finish them out now and put them on a stretcher. This is my uh, homemade board I made for fleshing them. It's just a two by four, I kinda rounded it off a little bit here, made it a little better, the back's a little rough, but where the hide goes, it's smooth. And I just put it in a vise here. When you're done, you put it on here. I usually try and start here with the fat of the eyes here and come down. So start at the ear, come down. See this fat here, the fat here? That's mainly what you're looking for, the big chunks of fat. I actually use the back side of a draw knife for woodworking for fleshing here. It works pretty good. You just pick it up, move it around, come down. Like I said, you're just wanting the big chunks. Any big chunks of meat, anything like that. These saddles here, you want to leave those on, but you want to get a little bit of this fat. You can see where the fat starts here and the saddle is. You want to leave that saddle there. Got the fat out of there, roll it around here. Get a little bit of fat around that leg. Get that fat by that saddle there. Bring it on down. A little bit down here at the bottom. Finish off. And that's as far as I flush those. Now, <clears throat> put it on the stretcher here. Always try and center these legs in here and the mouth <coughs> like so. I remember I showed you I leave a long tail here on the tail. That's so I've got something to hold on to here. And I can pull this down here. A little bit of fat left over here. If there's a whole lot of it, I'll trim it off. Otherwise, I leave it. Tail gets trimmed now. On the back side, we do the same thing here. Poke, poke a little hole here. This tail actually helps too keep it from tearing out when you are uh, pulling it down a little bit here. Now what I do, I pull these sides down. We'll close pin it here. Pull this side down as far as you can. I close pin it to hold it in because what that does is it gives you a little bit of extra length there if you got one that's on the borderline. But basically, you want to keep it all square level. Keep it even here. Looks good. Now when I hang it, I turn it upside down. These saddles, remember, I usually f bring those back the opposite way. Bring it back the opposite way here. Just so when it dries, it looks nice and pretty. Now when this is done, when I take them all down, what I do is I wipe them with the rag and get the grease all over them, and then take them off and then I hang them to sell. So we'll get this one hung up here, just like so, and that's it. Thanks for watching.